What's up YouTube, Dubstep Slap 415 yet again back with some more pickups. Let's get straight to it. I'm getting into the snapbacks first. Got a Mitchell and Ness snapback from Yoanti here on YouTube. Big shout out to you dude, hook me up with a Mitchell and Ness Whalers snapback. Very dope, Whalers logo with their name stitched in in very big letters on the front. Green under, green top the green button. He also included one of the uh, new era drawstring bags so I appreciate that homie. Keep it moving. Got a couple snapbacks from FitzDirect.com. Look close. San Diego Clippers. No, not Los Angeles. The Clippers were in San Diego from 1978 to 1984. Once again, San Diego Clippers on the back, white snap, black under, your teal top brim, white New Era logo. So I don't want to be hearing any dumb comments like, yo, the Clippers aren't in San Diego, they're in Los Angeles, that hat's fake. This is a classic hat, 78 to 84, the Clippers were in San Diego. Next up, dope ass California Republic. 950 snapback to go with the Olympic colorway shoes. California on the back. The red snap with the red under. Very dope. Red, gold, and navy blue bear. California Republic in navy. Very stoked on that hat. Right here, got a hat for the Olympic sixes. Bulls Windy City. Sorry, you guys probably hear my alarm. Got the red New Era logo, navy button on top, black and white bulls on the back with your navy under and uh, navy snap. Finally, got a hat for the uh, Air Force 180s or the uh, Air Jordan 7s. Windy City, New Era 950. Got your silver New Era logo on the side, silver on top. The underbrim on this is definitely one of my favorites. Got a gold underbrim, a red snap, and finally a red and gold Bulls logo on the back. All right, I'm going to turn off this alarm real quick. Got a few pairs of uh, Nike Elite socks. These are a red, white, and blue. You see the uh, top of the Statue of Liberty. These are some USA socks. Perfect to go with the Olympic Sixes. Real quick, I picked up, I actually picked up one pair of the uh, What the Kobe Inspired socks from FreshSwag.com. These are not the uh, same as the Vault Release. They feature the WTK branding, but for like 30 bucks, real dope, especially since the other ones were limited to like 18 and they sent me out two pairs, so one of these is going in the giveaway. Got a mini Jordan box. Uh, yesterday someone commented thinking these were the Concords. They're not. I uh, actually got these from Premier Skate Shop. They still are doing phone orders if you're interested. Here we go. Got the Jordan Fire Red 4 socks. Looking forward to this release. The socks weren't a problem to get. Hopefully the shoes won't be. All right, a couple tees before we get into the shoes. Got another tee from deceasedfame.bigcartel.com. Shout out to King of Kicks 805 This is his homie's company. And uh, he kept an eye out for when they restocked the black and white Pippin Ain't Easy tee. And it was a must for me. Definitely going to rock this with the black and white more up tempos. Scotty Pippen standing next to Michael Jordan. Pippen ain't easy. DF for deceased fame. Size extra large. And they're now uh, pumping out some pretty dope stickers. So check them out. Deceasedfame.bigcartel.com this next tee 
is from uh, Spreadshirt.com. I literally got this in the mail. I don't know who it's from. I didn't order it myself. It showed up with a little bag of the same buttons. I believe this company is called Alternative. If someone sent this to me as a gift, please send me a PM and let me know. You will have the matching order number that is on my receipt, but I never paid for this, so uh, shout out to Spreadshirt.com if they made a mistake and just sent me out a free tee. Getting into the first three pairs, on top we got a pair from eBay, metallic red foam one. These were worn once, but uh, don't come with the original box. Got no problem with that. They're in amazing condition. I went ahead and uh, put some 54 inch round laces from Foot Locker on them. Really like this look. Let me know what you guys think. If I should uh, go back to black or if you like the red. Keeping it moving. Got two pairs of Kobe's. They're the same colorway. Got to give a shout out to uh, King of Kicks 805 for the pair on the left and my boy Thomas for the pair on the right. Nike Zoom Kobe 7 system, crazy colorway. I believe it's uh, seaweed and hosta green is the official colorway. I'll show you guys that. I'll just take this pair out. Both come with the original Foot Locker receipt. Alright, so here we go. The What the Kobe's. This was a uh, pretty hectic release. Feature all of the major styles from the Kobe Predator pack. On the back, got the cheetah, the shark, the wolf, the mamba, and the frog. Very nice uh, wolf fur touch on the back. Got your uh, rogue green speckled midsole. The left shoe features the cheetah upper. The right shoe, poison dart frog. Personally, if they had done uh, certain pairs, the left shoe, poison dart frog, and certain pairs, the right shoe. So if you were lucky enough to get two, you could match up two rights or a right and a left from two separate pairs and have the same shoes next two pairs on the left shout out to Suicidal one for helping me cop that pair and on the right shout out to the dude on Soul Collector who sold those for one of the fairest prices I've seen in a while let's get right into it <clears throat> Air Jordan 6 white midnight navy and varsity red you see the countdown box you see the four. Alright, got my second pair of Olympic Sixes right here. Gotta say, I'm very happy with the leather on this pair over my first. A little bit nicer. Got your red jump man, your icy sole. Air on the back with your red jump man. Plenty of videos on those. Alright, getting into the uh, countdown box. Bam. So what we have here are some dead stock CDP bread fours. These are releasing around the holiday, but I wanted to get a dead stock CDP. It's your gray jump man on the back. Very nice Nubuck suede on this upper. It's your black flight tag with your red jump man. Very clean Jordan 4 bottom. Gray, white, and red. Very happy I was able to get a dead stock pair of these before the new 4s come out. Next up, two brown Nike boxes on the right. Air Trainer SC2, black, anthracite, and black. Air Griffey Max 1, white, black, anthracite, and turquoise blue. Alright, on the right, 
Got a very nice Raiders colorway of the SC Trainer 2. Got some nice black Nubuck on the upper. Your white and gray bottoms. Definitely rocking these to a uh, Raiders game this year. Nike on the tongue in gray. Moving on, we got the Griffies from the Home Run Derby collection. Teal and pink colorway. Very dope contrast stitching on the swoosh. Griffy bottom in teal and pink. A lot of people were thinking this was a, a black on the upper, but it's really kind of a, like an anthracite, like a dark gray. Your swoosh is the only real black on the shoe, but definitely a sick colorway. Next two pairs, the one on the left is from a homie in Oregon. The one on the right is a Nike ID, but they actually coincide with each other. I uh, didn't have the shoe on the left in mind at all while creating the shoe on the right. The original name for it is the Cookie Monster, so let's go ahead and get into it. On the left, Air Trainer 1 Mid Premium NRG Tan Beige Black and Charcoal. So these are the uh, Safari Trainer 1s great quality on these and when I say great I really mean great the toe box comes pre-creased because of the uh, type of leather but I really don't mind got Nike in beige on the black strap Safari print all over Nike Air stitched on the back one of my favorite parts very nice uh, tan leather all on the inside got a Nike tag black with uh, tan stitching alright let's get into the Nike ID see the little card so it is an Air Force these are the uh, Cookie Monster Air Forces but uh, I guess you could call them the Safari Air Forces gave them a gum bottom white midsole put the Safari print all over the shoe except for the toe box and mid panel got a uh, dark brown lace as well as the inner lining got the Nike ID insole One of my favorite parts, the gold tips on the laces. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, Nike ID and if it matches up well with the Safari. Pound for pound, I'm the most positive when I bust mine. Moving on to the next two pairs. On the left, got a pair of Concord 11s from Chicago Shoebox. Big shout out to you, homie. I really appreciate you selling these for a real sneakerhead price. All size 13 sneakerheads, listen up. I'm looking for a pair of cool gray 11s, size 13, dead stock only. Looking for a straight up trade, Concord for cool gray. Hit me up if you're interested. We got an Adidas performance box. This is a uh, friends and family pack. DJ Dell's got this same pack when the Audi Zero Crazy Light 2 first came out his name was engraved on this little uh, metal tab that they stick on the box my box has uh, Sean Wyman engraved into it did a little research and uh, Sean Wyman is a talent producer for ESPN so that is his friends and family pack I went ahead and took them out of the box like I usually do Got the original Foot Locker House of Hoops receipt for the Concord 11s. Got that carbon fiber paper. Very, very crispy pair of Concord 11s. Still factory laced. The Jordan Jumpman tag. Very, very dope 
stoked to have a third pair hopefully I can use it as uh, some trade bait trying to get some DS cool grays so hit me up if you're interested alright on to the adidas you see on the top adidas crazy light 2 you pick it up this little thing on top open it up lighter than yours got a size extra large adidas t-shirt to go with the shoes and then you've got your uh, adidas social media at adidas hoops hashtag audi zero hashtag crazy light 2 alright they come with a uh, optional insert it's like a very hot solar red it says Audi Zero on the sole of both and here we go with the Audi Zero Crazy Light 2 I'll show you guys it says 9.5 ounces on the side this is the first time I've really uh, handled one of these in hand and I gotta say this is uh, ridiculously light. Nine and a half ounces. That's your Adidas tag with your extra laces. Got your Audi, Audi Zero. Sprint web material all over the upper. See it right there. White heel. The rest of the uh, outsole and midsole is red. So very stoked I was able to pick up this friends and family pack. Shout out to uh, Sean Wyman. Didn't actually have any contact with him, but uh, if he didn't feel like moving this, I wouldn't have got it. Last two pairs today, and in my opinion, the best two pairs today. On the left, we got the more than a game DC exclusive LeBron 7. Air Max LeBron 7, white, white, metallic gold, gorge green. You see the DC in parentheses. On the right, we got a new custom from my boy Rome. Went all out and painted the LeBron King on the top of the box. Crazy detail on that. Show you guys the size tag. LeBron 9, white, white, black, and sport red. You guys probably know what they are. I'm going to open them up. So here we go. On the left, we've got the LeBron 7 More Than a Game DC Exclusive. Start off on the back of the air bubble. You see that uh, DC was printed on. Got your white with green speckled midsole. Same speckling on the center. Of the outsole surrounded by a translucent green got the uh, Nike hologram very sick white to green fade on the flywire got your uh, gold printed on your L23 logo more than a game everyone celebrating on the tongue Got white laces with uh, green tips with gold writing. You see the tab says world in gold, tour in green. Very stoked I was able to find these. That same fade on the inside as well as another image. The St. Vincent St. Mary's team. There is a uh, more than a game inscription on the inside of the tongue. I'll show you guys a picture of that right now. Hanging up the sunroof, hanging up the sunroof, hanging up the sunroof. The license plate valid. You also have a special more than a game insole with the players that were on LeBron's team uh, featured. So very happy with that release. I believe it was limited to 123 pairs in DC. Moving on to the left, we have a Rome exclusive pair, free gums all over, LeBron 9. Very dope uh, certificate. Got your little 
wax impression. All right, for those who have seen these before, it's my second pair. For those who haven't, here you go with the free gums all over. Sent these out to Rome and had him fill in Alvaro Ilizarbe's designs all over the LeBron 9. I really wish Nike had uh, released the shoes like this because they would have been an instant sellout instead of sitting on shelves. Definitely one of the most underrated LeBron 9s to release this year, in my opinion. Very, very good detail. Rome does some of the best work out of uh, all the customs I have. His detail is crazy, and he really, really takes his time. For those who don't know, the uh, designs all over the outside do match the designs on the inside and that is where Rome got the design for the lion on the front that same lion is featured on uh, the free gums paper so crazy custom crazy amount of detail huge huge shout out to Rome and oh I see he added a little touch got the Rome logo in red that's very dope. Really liking that little touch. Big shout out to you, homie. Just noticed that. I stay dressed to impress. Squawking bitches in dress. Sex is all I expect.